today I'd like to take time to think about successful language learners, successful language learners. In your classes, I'm sure you found, as I've done, that there are always some students who are more successful English language learners than others. They seem to be more comfortable using the language, they're more proficient. Um, how did they get that way? I remember talking to one of my students a while ago who was from Hong Kong and who had a very natural kind of English. He was a young first year university student and his English was clearly much better than many of his colleagues in the same class and I asked him to look back and think about what had made him such a good language learner. He was kind of surprised at the question but he began to describe to me how when he first started learning English at primary school he had nobody in the family that spoke English they all spoke Chinese but when he came back from school he would go into the bathroom and practice some of the words and sounds and sentences that he'd studied in front of the mirror talking to himself he was using himself as a conversation partner now, I just mentioned that as a little example of a learner who's realized that you have to do a little more than what is available in the classroom to be a successful language learner. There's a very limited amount of time available in the language classroom. Successful language learners are those, I think, who've often arrived at the realization that they've got to put something extra into it themselves find additional opportunities on the internet, at home, whatever the situation may be, to go beyond what was available in the classroom. It might be keeping a vocabulary journal, uh, taking a note of things that they hear, new words, new, exp new expressions that they've heard, and so on. Um, and so successful language learners seem to have realized that they need to devote a little of their private time to language learning. They need to give up something, in other words, and use that available time in productive ways to increase their language learning capacity. So it's important, I think, to find out who the most successful language learners are in your class. Have them share their experiences. What suggestions would they give to other students in the class? Have them keep journals and compare their experiences that way. Um, so use the learners in your class as a resource to help you understand how students cope with the uh, problems of learning a second or foreign language and what strategies and uh, solutions have they found worked for them.